Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com. And in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic in the database design, that is database normalization. The term database normalization is used in the context of relational databases. The relational database model was invented and proposed by a British computer scientist, E.F. Codd. In relational database, the logical structure of the database consists of number of interrelated tables and each table represents a single database entity. The database normalization is simply a process of decomposing the large tables into as small but more meaningful tables. The large tables essentially means a table that combines the data of multiple database entities. However, the duplication of data at multiple places becomes a major problem with large tables. The presence of duplicate data in the multiple records is referred as redundant data. Let us first understand the problem of redundant data with one simple example. Let us consider an example of a student table. This single table stores the data related to the students, course enrolled by the students, and the instructor details for each course. The problem with this table is the presence of duplicate of data present in the multiple records. For example, the data of course enrolled by each student and the data of instructor details are present in multiple records as redundant data. The redundant data is the root cause of many potential problems. And therefore, the database designers must fix the problem of data redundancy while designing the database. The database normalization process provides solution to the problem of data redundancy and the database anomalies caused due to the problem of redundant data in the database tables. Let us now understand various database anomalies caused due to data redundancy problem. There are three types of database anomalies triggered by the duplicate records, typically in the UN normalized table. These database anomalies are insertion anomaly, update anomaly, also referred as modification anomaly, and the third, deletion anomaly. Let us now understand how database anomalies adversely affect the database performance and why do we need to fix them? The duplication of data in the table and the consequential database anomalies is the most common cause of the an inconsistent state of the database. The inconsistent state of the database is caused due to the failure of the database operation that fails to update all the records. The inconsistent state of the database produce inaccurate results for various database queries and adversely affect the various database operations and therefore, the database structure must be normalized while designing the database to avoid any potential problem. So, till now, we have discussed the problem of data redundancy and various database anomalies. Let us now talk about the solution provided by the database normalization and how database normalization can help to fix the problem of data redundancy. The database normalization is defined as a process to decompose the database table structure into the smaller, but more meaningful tables. The main objective of the database normalization process is to minimize the presence of redundant data in various tables that causes the various database anomalies. The normalization is achieved by decomposing the larger tables that combines data of the multiple entities. These large tables are split into small tables but only relevant data that belongs to a single entity. The database normalization rules can be broadly grouped into two groups. The first group of normalization rules consist of normalization up to the third normal form. The 3NF normal form normalization rules were proposed by British computer scientist E.F. Codd. These rules achieve the normalization by mainly removing the functional dependencies. Most cases, the databases can be normalized by the application of normalization rules up to the third normal form. However, in some cases, the third normal form cannot remove all the data redundancies. And therefore, in order to remove certain types of database anomalies, the 3NF rules were further modified. This was jointly modified by American computer scientist Raymond Boyce and British computer scientist E.F. Codd. These modified normalization rules are referred as Boyce-Codd normal forms, BCNF, 
Normalization Rules Let us first discuss in detail the normalization rules defined by EF COD up to the third normal form. The normalization is done by applying the normalization rules as defined by EF COD who invented and proposed the relational model. In relational model, in order to normalize the database, the tables must satisfy the normalization rules. In order to normalize the table structure, EF COD proposed the concept of three normal forms. As per the normalization rules, the table must satisfy rules of first normal form called 1NF, second normal form called 2NF, and the third normal form is called 3NF. The table structure is decomposed into smaller tables by applying these normalization rules. The relationship between the tables is established by defining the primary key and the foreign key for each table. Let us now understand these database normalization rules. The first normal form 1NF rules states that each table cell should have atomic value. Further, no repeating column groups allowed in 1NF and the table must have a primary key defined. The second normal form 2NF rule states that the table must be in the first normal form and the table should not have any partial functional dependencies. Similarly, the third normal form 3NF rule states that the table must be in the second normal form and the table should not have any transitive functional dependencies. Let us now understand the database normalization rules by applying these rules to the previous example of the student table. In order to normalize this single large table, we need to first create a separate table for each database entity. So, let us split the single large table into three separate tables. Now we have three separate tables, which include the first student table, second the course table, and the third instructor table. The next step in database normalization process is to define the primary key for each table. A relationship is defined as an association between the two entities. Depending upon the association, the relationship between the tables needs to be defined by using the primary key and the foreign key constraints. For example, the course table contains course ID as primary key field. This course ID field has been included in the student table as a foreign key. Similarly, the instructor table contains instructor ID as a primary key field. This instructor ID field has been included in the course table as a foreign key. After completing the normalization process, the data redundancy problem has been eliminated in all the three tables. As a result, the database anomalies caused due to the data redundancy problem is also now resolved. Please read the detailed article on our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, for more details. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we have discussed what is database normalization. We also discussed with example the problem of data redundancy in a table and what are database anomalies. And how database normalization can fix these problems. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with another computer science video.